Anybody? I'm going back for now. Okay, we're good. 15 right. feet here, so I can see. Oh, okay. Now I can actually see really what's going on. Great. Those two are falling on the ground to sleep. Gotcha. But since they're asleep, I could ideally move here and then use a dash action instead of attacking to move 30 feet over there, right? Yes. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move, move there, up over to Drux. Dash over right by Drux. Okay. And then, yeah, that would be my action to dash over there. All right. Morthos brings us back to you. Uh, I am going to Decisions, decisions. Move up to here. Okay. And I'm going to use my bow and... Try to get this guy's attention. I don't need to actually hit him. I just need to hit close enough to make him look at me. Well, hopefully you hit him. I hope I hit him, but at he's the same already time, looking I... at all of you. He's just got his scimitar up to the girl's. Yes, throat. but now his attention is divided at that point. I need him to look at me. Well, you can try. Go ahead and roll the hit. Uh... Intimidation. Yeah, you could try intimidation. Intimidation. That always goes well for us, doesn't it? Always as well. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, that went well. <laughs> Like a they don't look like it they does, do that heavily It does armor. not hit. Go. You can roll intimidation if you're trying to intimidate. That's fine. Love to try, I guess. Oh, where's intim... There it is. Oh, <laughs> Something actually intimidated. <laughs> Alright, what, what would you like to say to the cultists, Morthos? Ah. Uh... I'm going to tell him that I'm going to stick his lovely little face into the fire and watch his face melt into the dirt. Unless he runs like hell. Because as soon as I get my hands on him, that's where he's going. All right. So <clears throat> he sees you dart out from between the two buildings. He hadn't really had a clear view of you up to that point. You run out. You draw and fire an arrow that literally lands at his feet. And you shout what you said you're gonna burn his face in the fire <laughs> unless he drops his sword and flees and he let me see here Ooh. fucking demon thing <laughs> from behind the corner <laughs> of course well you the demon run. thing that is now really really pissed and says, I'm going to hold your face in that fire until your face melts off. Now you should say, you should say, I will walk you to the center of the fire. He's, he hold darts it. around. <laughs> he, does, he does not drop his weapon. But he shot. darts around basically to the almost opposite side of the fire from you. Mm -hmm. it seems to be heading to the northeast somewhere. Um... Dude. Since the since the two cultists are right here, can I just pass a little a thought a passing thought to the two guys that are nearby? You can you can talk. Yeah, I'm say what say. you want to say. Um, I'm going to say be careful. He might have friends nearby that he's trying to go uh, regroup with, and if we see him again, I'm bringing him back to this fire, and I'm holding his head in the fire. All right. So Drux, that brings us to you. You've just had a massive blow. To your shoulder. Yep. Uh... And everyone's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> the people that hurt you are now asleep. What do you do to them? <laughs> you have well, one really... cultist that's trying to make his way away from you. I, you have... I've got to... to be fair, to be fair, since they're asleep, you can probably get advantage the on them. No, I have got a good question though. If I move the guys who are asleep 
does that wake them up? Because I'm not actually attacking them. It, I... them. it would. It would have a. Oh, yes. It would have a chance to. Yes. Because I don't know how his, the spell you works would... exactly. That's why I'm asking. You would have to roll well. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. And I know what you want to do. You want to move them and push them into the fire. I know mm -hmm. that's what you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> would anyone like to tell the uh, hostages by the fire to move? I'm going to move to here, which is my Preferably... full move. I'm still charging towards this guy, by the way. I'm not stopping. Okay. And I'm actually going to use... Um... <sighs> I'm actually going to use Sacred Flame as I'm running along. I'm just going to throw my hand out and use okay. Sacred Flame. Okay. Roll to hit. Yeah, Fucking dumbass dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Our healer is now the farthest fucker yeah. ahead. On his own. The DC pay for this uh, as well, by the way. You gave uh, him a light pay. So yeah. the cultist is running from you guys. He's got and a DC 11 save. You come that. plodding along behind him, your little dwarf stubby legs and your, and your armor clanking along. And as you come plodding along, you fling your hand out, and a little bolt from heaven comes out and, like, smacks him on the ass and sends him just, Ay! He, like, Ay! And goes up, goes on his way, dealing I'm one... I'm just trying to slow him down. <laughs> it didn't slow him down. It didn't speed him up. It didn't up. do it anything just... other than just burn his ass hair. I literally just run out and go, Get back here! <laughs> and I do want to go ahead and say this, guys. It's funny... Because oh. I was able to intimidate something. We had the fucking Dragonborn right, who couldn't the, uh, intimidate a door. <laughs> the, the cultist. Let me see here. Yeah, but I one-shotted a spellcaster. So that's yes, yes, you did. <laughs> and I, also, I also intimidated a fucker and made him run away from me. Okay, the uh, cultist is still pretty much ready to get back to his friends. So he's going to... He's still that's heading not, out that way, that's but not turn. he's also, uh, well, let's see. Is he the one asleep, Mark? No, that's the only no. one still up. Yeah, that's the guy uh, who's still awake. Oh, so okay. he actually yeah. just completely runs as far as he can from you guys. <laughs> he's fucking it. <laughs> All right, Bakul. Um, you guys might be mad at me, but I'm going to turn around and shoot at these guys. Uh, these three that I saw earlier. They Don't are... do it. You mean the ones that have nothing to do with the engagement mm -hmm. we have now? You're going to start a second engagement. <sighs> yes, yes. Okay. So, they're 100 feet away from me. They're going to so, be shooting so at a disadvantage. Them what? You're going to be shooting at a disadvantage. No, he's. Uh, I think he's right in range. He's no, got a longbow. I'm in the long one. He's longbow. I'm the one with oh, the shortbow. He's got the bow. Okay, so yeah, I have the shortbow. Okay. I think it's 150, 600. Gotcha. Six hundred is the max. So, um, yeah. Wow. Roll a hit, right? So, which one are you aiming at? Um. This. Come on. This one. Right okay. So yeah, roll roll to hit, and you'll get advantage because they're it's a surprise. <laughs> well, your advantage didn't help you very much. <laughs> So you stand your ground, back to the tree, draw your longbow after a successful headshot of the <laughs> supposed spellcaster. It was a flip. You turn and whip your bow out in glee, ready to follow through with yet another successful shot. And fail hard. You, you draw after you've knocked your arrow. You draw and let loose. And your arrow goes flying just between the gap between the two to the west and the one to the east. And implants itself solidly in the side of the house. They all hear a, a solid thunk. And you hear one of the bandits yell, They're to the south! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> give on. Give, You're give, on your give own, me just man. one second here. Buckle, you're on your fucking own. I'm him right to you guys. Um, my concern is no longer anyone in this party. Are you with me, Drax? Uh, I'm still running after this guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm you're on your own. You're fucked. 
Me? I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jack, you're going to this guy real quick. The problem is he's faster than you. Yeah, I'm just going to have to tr keep on trying to burn his ass and slow him down. <laughs> <laughs> so far, that's going so well for me. Yeah, I, I am going to say this. Um, I hope I get my hands on that little fuck again. I, I know he's going to get away from your short little stubby ass. And I hope we find him later on, because I'm bringing him right back here. All right, Geth. God damn it. Well, I noticed that uh, there's a survivor trying to escape, so <laughs> let's see. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30-ish. And... Oh, yes, but I have Spell Slinger. <laughs> <laughs> 120 feet even without it that's just close enough that i can throw a firebolt at him okay okay so fuck him fuck him in his face uh what, what is it with some fire <laughs> it's fire awful. burns that's what yes it does mm -hmm. okay don't fuck up you're right don't fuck up it's 11 hit 11 to hit. Mm -hmm. Unless he has his back to me, I get advantage somehow. That would be nice. Well, he's running like hell. <clears throat> I will give you advantage. Yes! So you will get the 15, and that does mean you successfully hit. So go ahead and roll your damage. Kill it with fire! <laughs> That's kind of the plan. You roll oh. 8 for damage. 9 total on damage. Mm -hmm. All Come right. On. And he's got, he's been to that one damage, so. so. <clears throat> Drux mm -hmm. comes plodding along and singes the guy's backside with a little bolt from heaven. <laughs> it spurs yes. the guy onward, and he just takes off and runs another 60 feet away. But you step out from around the corner of the building you were beside and objection. see him, you see him darting, and you do. You hold a high objection, and you launch your fire bolt, and it flies just over Drux's injured shoulder as it goes by Drux, leaving him unharmed. And it splatters flame against the back of the cultist, and his cloak catches on fire, and you see him fall, screaming to the ground, screaming for just about five seconds in pain and utter dismay before he perishes. There, I dealt with it. Are you happy, Morton? <laughs> Thank you, Gav. Vikram. Mm -hmm. Vikram, you okay. have a sleeping bandit at your feet and a sleeping people. cultist uh, just ahead. Okay. Is just a bandit. Got a <laughs> um, so instead of moving, I'm going to use one half of the movement to uh, stow away both my hand axes and use the other one to pull on my katana, and I'm going to attack the sleeping guy in front of me. Okay. <laughs> Coward. I'm going to try to <laughs> impale him in the face while he's sleeping on the ground. Okay. That is the plan here, at least. I've got a better plan for the next one. <laughs> I think you successfully are able to do that, so go ahead and roll so. your damage. <laughs> Woo! I think we might be dead. Alright, so you bring your katana out, and you bring it down as you drop to a knee and you do exactly as you said you implant it squarely in his face yes. killing him yeah, do. in his sleep he <laughs> shall dream no longer oh, that Pilgrim, will be you teach me your sleep spell <laughs> <laughs> however it does end it does end the sleep spell on the bandit so the pink well, dot is gone he well, dead, so, you know. that can't be lifted. Well, <laughs> can't be technically, so he's easy. permanently asleep now. Uh, yes, I, I just made death spell permanent. Is really all I need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my magic's better with friends. <laughs> all right, oh, so crap. <laughs> more things. I, I made a bogo guy. Uh, I think Bug Cool is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? Oh, why? <laughs> Because Kitty is good, Kitty. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. 
I owe well, five guys. Okay. Since it's my turn now. That, video. <laughs> that means we're going to get all the views ever. You mean I will. <laughs> anyway, we're all in this together, I'm going bitch. to uh, pull out one of my swords. Okay. And I'm going to embed it in the chest of this little shit. Okay. So I'm going to move. Pull my sword out and embed the fucker into his chest because he's sleeping on the ground and he does not wake up ever again. Okay. Oh. Woo. All right, roll your damage. That'll do. Oh. <laughs> no, no. And uh, give him a little an epic <laughs> niche. I think he's again, like, again, I'm going to shaving. Oh. Hmm. You know, I mean, the I first thing. I the day, and you wake him up. <laughs> um, so yeah. as you step up beside him, you accidentally kick his shin as you bring your sword down upon him. He wakes up just barely in time to pull his himself aside, and instead of it being a lethal blow, you deal two damage. Well, let me double check, please, Phil. See uh, if it says anything about them waking up. It says yeah, it, it lasts does. a minute, but it's it lasts a minute or until they're disturbed. Yeah. Hmm. Or unconscious till the spell ends. The sleeper takes damage, but they which they did okay. Just checking. Yep. So he has taken damage. He's woken up. He's still prone Wait, on the ground. But... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Come on. All right. The guards out in front of the houses up north, the one that had yelled to the south, alerted his friends. And you see one come running out of one house and another come running out of the other house for five bandits in total. They all then yes, move. They move in unison down towards you guys. Awesome. Oh boy. Um, question: uh, cool. Are these uh, are these peasants just gonna stand there the whole time? They're or... huddled together beside the fire. They're well, still huddling there. I mean, are they cold? Get behind we... the fucking party! <laughs> what the fuck? They, they, so far, they've they hear been you? really close to death, and, and uh, they've seen yeah, two people get die. The Sorry, three people die in front of them. They're not going to be the happiest. They're going to see they a lot heard, more. They, they heard Geth. The party. Geth did just that. He yelled to them, get behind us. And so they circle out wide and start trying to work their way down and around to get behind you. Thank you. Okay, so the bandits have all moved. And Drux. i got a question. How badly injured this idiot on the ground look like at the moment? He is laying on the ground. The sword that Morthos tried to impale him with went through his robe and it tore the robe. You can't really see what kind of a puncture it was able okay. to um, impart upon the cultist. I'm just going to run up to him and just, well, basically bring my axe down this skull and screw it. Okay, roll to hit. ask him a question <laughs> again? I'm going to, yes. I'm just going to try and cut his head off since he's on the hey, ground. Isn't this little bastard who fucking cut you? Yeah, which is why I'm really not very pleased fun. right now. <laughs> well, that'll um, do. Yep, okay. I think he cut his ass. So you great. need to roll double That's damage? That's a question you had to think about for a while. Now you're bringing it down. Are you bringing it down with your with both hands? Oh, or? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm really pissed off. I'm just going to use both hands on this guy. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> okay, so I think we had it in for the eight damage, then. <laughs> All right, so uh, got some on my outfit. <laughs> All right, so you run up, and as the cultist wakens, and he kind of brings his arm up a little bit as he draws himself away from Morthos, and Morthos brings down his sword and just does a little bit of damage to him. You run up from beside him. And so he's kind of leaning up and looking back towards Morthos. You come up beside, and your axe kind of comes from this direction. You actually cleave 
cleanly through his neck and down on through his arm, and his head and his arm fall free. <laughs> and he uh, dies. I'm going to pick his head up afterwards and throw it to Vice, like, fuck that guy, and turn around to face the others. <laughs> okay, roll your, uh, roll your to hit. Just roll a d20 for me. Okay. <laughs> You just do slash R space D20. Oh, sorry, that's being a pain in the ass in it, well. Or just hit the little dice button and then click D20. Yeah. It's just being a pain in the ass. I just want to know if you get it to land in the fire, that's all. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Fair enough. His head lands in the fire! It actually Yay! kind of lands it actually kind of lands on the pavement just before the Good fire enough. and rolls in. And so it's kind of leaning like open mouth, like the way it rolls. It's staring back at you, open mouth, like, you know, gaping maw as the fire starts to engulf it from behind. Good. Like I said, fuck that guy. Like a silent scream <laughs> on a disembodied head yeah. as it starts to burn away in the fire. And you smell, you smell the, the strong stench of burning hair. Yeah, good. Mixed in exactly. it. At this point, I like to uh, interject. Drugs. Before you burn the bodies, let me check the robes this time. Damn it! <laughs> if you had it's fine. <laughs> I'll make sure there's one for me to examine. This is all very fascinating, isn't it? Uh, they burn well. Yes. Yes. You didn't need a wizard for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I spent I spent four years at that fucking college, and yes, <laughs> bodies do burn well. Bakul, it is up to you. You have five bandits coming your way. I am going to stand my ground, knock another arrow, and shoot at that idiot right there. Okay. Uh, so longbow. Okay. Okay, you hit. All right. Nice. Nine damage. Okay. So you knock an arrow and throw and and shoot it forth, and it finds its target. It catches the. You said this one, right? Yes. Okay. It catches him up towards his left shoulder, and you see him spin and fall to a knee. Yep. All right. Geth. All oh, right. Sorry, I'm going to stand my ground from there. So. Let's see. Yeah, you said Star. you're standing your ground. That doesn't help you defend or anything because you used an action. But you're. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not, not going to move. Yeah. Okay, to start, I'm going to come around the corner. God damn it, but cool. What do you piss off now? Okay. And just kind of move over here. And, oh, now yeah. I can see him. Okay, this is at pretty far range. Let me get the exact number. Oh, damn it. Uh, range for the ruler, basically. Okay, I'm going to assume that uh, I can at least hit with Firebolt because... I can launch that thing forever. Yeah, it's 115 feet from you. Yeah, 115 right, to, the, well. the, to the nearest one. He's the one that's on his knees injured. It's 120 feet to the one next to that one. Well, I have 240 feet, so I can throw this thing just a little bit. Yeah. Um, it goes hell of a thought. It's fine. So which one are you going to aim at? Oh, uh, I suppose I'll finish the wounded. Okay. Okay. And it's a clear shot, so... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so much for that. Well, he's on his knee. <laughs> Doesn't matter, but he's on his it knee. It does give you advantage. However, <laughs> um, as you fire your firebolt, uh, this particular bandit just happened to be wearing a shield on his back. And so as he turned after being shot by the arrow and fell to his knee, 
it actually brought forth a shield on his back and your fire bolt actually rebounds off the shield and uh, just kind of bounces and, and pitter, pitters out. Oh, I missed! That's what Worth Thunder says. <laughs> Vikram. Vikram. Okay, I'm hearing an echo. echo. Oh. Yeah, hang on. I gotta adjust a couple of things real quick. Sorry, my laptop decided to go wonky on me. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yep, that would be my. Okay, there we go. For some reason, the sound switched back to the speakers. All right. Okay. Um. Hmm. Now you currently well, have your katana out, correct? Yes. Okay. So I noticed uh, Geth hollering up north towards Bakul. Uh, so I'm first going to move. Uh, 10 feet over here. Uh, so now I can see everything and I see a buck hole around the tree. So um, I'm going to go ahead and move up closer to uh, buck cool up ahead here, about 20 feet there. And then I'm going to use my action to just defend for the moment since I can't do anything else. Okay. Morthos. Um. Do I rec Tig, do I recognize any of the three women right here or are they just random? Roll a D twenty for me. Um it appears as though the three women that you have there, one of them looks like she's maybe only seventeen. And the other one, one of them looks maybe around 19 and the other one around 21. Uh, they're a little too young to be one of the women that you're seeking. Okay. After seeing, looking back and seeing their ages and realizing that they're not who I'm looking for, I'm going to... <clears throat> um, pull out my second sword and start... And I get my full movement, even though I'm pulling out another sword rider now. Uh, it's half your movement to change weapons. But you can take the half movement, and then if you don't want to defend and you just want to make progress, then you can just use progress. your action. So you can use your action to get another full movement. So you can move one full movement and a half with okay, switching so. weapons. I do that wrong. No, I did that right. Okay. And that's 40, where I'm going to stay. 40 feet. Your movement's 30. You could have gone 45. Yeah, you can, go, you can go five more ahead if you want. No, that's where I want to stay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I'm sorry. The dumbass pissed all these fuckers off. He can take the brunt of it. <laughs> no, I was going to tell you to stay behind me anyway. So. Okay, so the three... Oh. Oh, freaking button. I really didn't want to share the uh, XP on these. Yeah, don't care. The three... Oh, wrong thing. Uh, you and I have the words. The three girls move up exchange. more behind you. They're closer to you now, Geth, since you were the one that had been commanding them where they should be going. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the 